question a long time ago and the person probably has given up on me at this point <laughs> but the question was how to make um, a porcelain doll have a darker skin tone now this person had um, expressed that they had tried to um, get the skin tone darker and it kind of had messed up the porcelain well if it is like this right here it doesn't have a glaze on it um, this type of doll can be very what I call thirsty what I call thirsty so it does um, like to take up uh, whatever um, paint you go to put on. The problem is once you've done it, it's in there. Um, as opposed to, say, a doll head like this that's glazed, um, that's almost impossible. Um, that paint is just going to sit on top. Um, you really do need to have the porous um, uh, texture. So what I'm going to do is I have this color paint right here. It's folk art uh, coffee latte. You can build up the layers to make it darker. If you go for a darker paint than this right off the bat, um, you might have some issues um, like what the person who asked me this question described. Um, it just won't be even. It won't go on even. So just like with almost every project you can think of where you paint, whether it's acrylic paint, oil paint, spray paint, um, even fingernail paint, the general rule is uh, do thin coats if you want to build it up um, make sure that you do it in thin coats so what I'm going to do is I have some water here and I have a makeup sponge reason is I want it um, to apply as uh, much as possible the thinner um, brush strokes which let me get this brush here even though this isn't one of my paint brushes uh, this is one of my powder brushes um, the more you swipe the more um, indications of the brush strokes will show up whereas this um, you can pat it on and usually that helps a lot more so I'm actually going to wet the surface of this just to get it ready and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disregard any sort of lines um, for the hair so you're gonna see me get the paint into her hair but this is completely unpainted now uh, the traditional method for doing this would be to use um, the porcelain paints the china paints that you can then um, put the whole piece into the kiln um, and then fire it. Um, you can paint with acrylics like you would ceramics. Um, you just need to seal it. And so since this is a, a paint um, job that I'm trying to show how you would do at home, obviously. And as you can see, that's already drying up. So um, remember what I said about it being thirsty. But there's some water in there. So hopefully this paint, and we'll see. Because I don't remember the last time that I've done this. Um, honestly, I don't. Um, we will see whether or not this turns out um, to be even or not. We'll discover together. And what I would recommend would be... Where is one of my little... Hold on just a second. I'm going to use one of my little saucers here just for time's sake and I'm going to just put oh that's a little much just put a little bit out there like that then I'm going to get some water back in my sponge 
And I'm not going to dip into that big wad there of paint. Well, yeah, I did. And I'm going to pat it out so I have, in general, an even coating. And you guys will notice this looks a lot like foundation. So if you guys use these type of makeup sponges <clears throat> uh, for your makeup, then that's exactly what this will remind you of. Nowadays, they use beauty blenders and they're egg shaped. <laughs> anyway, let's get started here. And we will tap on the color. And like I said, don't get uh, too upset here, guys. Um, as I said, I am disregarding the paint um, getting on the the hair because the hair can be painted over and we want this color to to go all the way up and you want to do the shoulder plate because you won't and then it just depends on what type of doll you're doing here if your doll is attached already you might want to go ahead and take off it so off. you don't get this paint on the cloth um this one is just one of my mini dolls um, that I got like this uh, um, that aren't put together. They're just a kit. So I didn't have to take this off of anything. And I want to get under there. Now that seems to have gone on very evenly. And you'll just want to stop and look and make sure. Um, I want to get up here into the curls because I don't know. Um, and the danger here too is pat, uh, tapping too much and taking the paint back off. So we want this to dry. Remember what I said, if this isn't as dark as you would like her, um, then you want to wait, just have patience. I can tell you my lack of patience in my past has ruined many a project. There's two ways that Liz ruins projects. One, um, not having patience and two not knowing when to stop <laughs> um because sometimes i just don't i just keep going now we are going to because also the other thing is we don't know how dark that will be and i'm going to i'll have to go downstairs and grab another one of these so we can compare that was the other thing i wanted to show you guys so getting this wet now when you go to do the hair the hair is not going to be important for you um, to get wet and then paint um, as carefully obviously you're going to use a brush for it but what you really really want is make sure that the face looks um, even so that it looks like that is the color that it came as so we are going to let that dry, let it see how it dries. And there is some modeling there, um, as you can see, but that will get cleared up um, with another coat. Okay, let, I've let this dry for a little bit. And now you can see, this one's a smaller one. I couldn't find the same size, but um, it's the same um, uh, porcelain. So it's the same tint. So you can see it, uh, a little bit how darker it is. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more coat um, just to see. My sponge is still wet. I'm not going to re-wet um, the porcelain like we did at the beginning. Um, that was just something at the beginning. Oh yeah. Now see what I'm talking about with the... Uh, let me get over here out of the... Let me get this light over here too that sun coming through the um, curtain doesn't really help us here so yeah that is deepening the color and you would be surprised at how and how much um, of a difference a light you know two coats of a light color and uh oh look see it's trying to take it off that's what I like to do on the camera so that everybody can see. Too much pouncing is going to pull that original coat off. So I might have needed to let this let, uh, dry even overnight. I just actually waited a matter of minutes. And I'm guessing I probably should have waited even longer. Um, 
that is a lot darker. I'm liking that a lot. Um, now, if you were doing a porcelain doll with the, uh, which what we would most of us see most often, uh, we have the porcelain dolls uh, most commonly that have the wigs, not the molded hair. So I just wanted to bring that up. If you were to be changing a doll uh, with um, a wig, you would obviously, uh, if you can't remove it, you want to pull it back as much as possible. I'm going to uh, load up again my sponge because I think I'm taking the paint off because my sponge doesn't have much left on it. I'm just pouncing it. Oop, I'm so sorry for the loud. I'm pouncing it into the paint so I'm not pulling that back off. Um, you will want to, if you can't take off the wig, you will want to at least uh, put it back out of the way, obviously, so you don't get paint on your wig. But this little example here, as, you, as we discussed, has the molded hair that will paint. All right, you want to make sure to get into the creases, and this might be a, a little bit more challenging for um, everyone if you're doing a larger doll. Um, but it's the same process, and you're just going to have to take your time with it. Now, I like how that... I like that shade. I'm going to keep it like it is. Um, I would definitely recommend making sure that you uh, wait overnight because I probably should have waited just a little bit longer on that. There's a little bit of a sheen to it because the paint is still wet but that will dry and it won't have that sheen. It'll be a matte color like this once it absorbs in. So you can see um, the difference. This is what we started with. So pretty pale. And here is our end. And that's just to show how to darken the skin color. So our next step will be to tint the cheeks or give a little blushing to the cheeks. Um, paint the eyebrow and eyelashes and paint the lips and then finally paint the hair color so that will be coming up soon I will do a part two on that because I do believe the person who was asking about um, darkening the porcelain um, it was a traditional uh, well I shouldn't say traditional because there's all different types of dolls uh, her doll was a doll that had a wig um, so we won't need to paint the hair. Um, if you're darkening the skin tone and it already has its features painted, you might not have to add them. This was a blank doll, so it didn't um, have those things. Um, so I will be doing a part two on this. Thank you guys for spending some time with me in my doll studio and be looking for some, um, at least two more videos today. I had a hidden giveaway on one of my videos, so I will be drawing the winner for that today as promised and I will be doing another giveaway starting today. And I should be getting a couple of doll patterns, um, doll clothes patterns, so I'll um, share those with everyone when they arrive today. So thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a magical day. Bye-bye.